is ignorance. Philippians, Ephesians 4 and verse 18. The Bible says, having their understanding darkened. It says, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. So an encounter with the word like this is an opportunity to feast on the light of God. Are we together now? Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, when you read, it says, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Not the knowledge of what they want, the knowledge of the keys that it takes to translate prophecy into experience. Are you learning now? Thank you. Please do pay attention and understand this. It is important. You must, you must make up your mind that you will evolve spiritually to a superior version of yourself that is now able to handle the things of the kingdom with power. The Bible says in Psalm 82 and verse 5, it says, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. The next verse says, I have said, ye are gods and all of you, not some, are children of the Most High. But the tragedy is in the next verse. It says, you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. So we must obtain grace from God. When he was speaking in the book of Acts, he says, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. I hand you over to God, then to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. And then he says to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Say light. Light is very powerful in this kingdom because we rise on the strength of the level and the extent of spiritual illumination that we have. It takes more than a sincere desire to excel in this kingdom. Are we together? Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah. This is very important. Light. Psalm 60 and verse 1 says, Arise. It says, Shine. For thy light is come. Isaiah 60, I meant to say. Isaiah 60 and verse 1. Arise. It says, Shine. For thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Amplified says, Arise from the prostration and depression and prostration that circumstances have kept you. He says, rise to a new light. Arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. Listen, transformation is very important. The Bible says, an heir, for as long as he's a child, he differed not from a slave. That means his experience will still be like one who is not in the faith. So number one, encounters. Number two, transformation. The third thing we must do, you wouldn't believe that I'm just introducing myself. Hallelujah. Please don't be distracted. The third thing that we must experience in an atmosphere like this is that in every gathering that is God ordained, there must be an opportunity for the Holy Spirit to find expression in the midst of his people in miracles, signs and wonders. This is true. John chapter 2 and verse 11. The first miracle recorded according to the synoptic account of John. The turning of water to wine. The Bible says this beginning of miracles. That means it did not stop there. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in the Cana of Galilee. And manifested forth his glory. Why? To the end that the disciples would believe on him. The faith life that we've been called into is a dimension of spiritual reality that can be provable, can be proven here and now. The Bible says Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. And the reality of his power, his grace and his love must find expression in the midst of his people here and now. I believe in the supernatural I believe in the miraculous. I believe in the power of God. Number four, very quickly. The fourth thing to expect in an atmosphere like this 
is impartation. What is impartation? Impartation is a mystery in the Bible. The system for transferring spiritual possibilities from one person and one region to another is called impartation. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 8. That every time God invests grace upon one person is to the intent that it reaches a people. That he sent a word to Jacob but the intention is that it will light upon Israel. In Romans chapter 1 when you read from verse 10 and 11. He was saying, he made a statement that was very instructive. Romans chapter 1, in fact, when you start from verse 9, Romans, it says, For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayer. And then he says, Making request, if by any means now at length, I may have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come to you. Why? 11. For I long to see you, he says, that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. It takes more than the salvation experience to be a witness indeed. You must be empowered by the Spirit. Is that true? Acts chapter 1 and verse 8 says, But ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, he never said you will be preachers. He never said you will be businessmen. He never said you will be politicians. Those things just define the geography of your assignment. In the mind of God, we are all together called witnesses. A witness is the validator of a claim. Are we together? You will be witnesses to me both in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the earth. And this is not limited to just a group of people. Acts chapter 2, when you read verse 39, I believe, it says this promise. Acts chapter 2, I believe it should be. The promise is unto you, say unto me, and to your children, and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord shall call. And the fifth, very quickly, what should you expect in an atmosphere like this? Number one, encounters. Two, transformation. Three, miracle signs and wonders. Four, impartation. And number five, fellowship. There is a mystery that happens when believers come together under a corporate anointing. Psalm 133, how good and pleasant it is, the Bible says, when brethren dwell in unity it now likens it to the oil verse 2 that flows upon the head of Aaron the priest to his bed to his garment and then verse 3 the Bible says even like the dew of Hammon for there in that gathering God had commanded the blessing that means no matter how anointed and great you are there are things you cannot receive in isolation there are dimensions of God that can only be experienced when we come together. Are we together now? And so tonight, having this at the back of your mind, I want to take the few minutes that I have to share something that I believe. Number one, it's been a burden in my heart. And I believe that this is consistent with the cry of the Spirit as revealed to his eminence the archbishop i want to share something that is is a very deep mystery in the spirit and i pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god that our eyes will be open to see and to access this light hallelujah when it comes to this kind of gathering ladies and gentlemen please listen carefully you will need more than intellectual prowess to understand the things all days. I decree and I declare, let there be the opening of that gate. Upon these ones, step into that realm and drink of this ancient fountain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down. Shalina skibande rasho lakata brande gebalakato siyata. 
the opening of the eyes Shinas Kabati Kataliata Krantes Kate Badida Kataya Beranto Shekete Pakata Skati Barikate and Skatebakatos Krido Sidata Rise in the spirit to a new height and a new dimension Rise in the spirit Please sit if you can. Please sit if you can. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 